Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. So I just wanted to take this little video here to do some examples from what I didn't get a chance to do today during the lecture. And also this makes it a nice little separate video for you to, to let you can look at these problems separately away from the lecture. Also, when I go to the next slide, stop and see if you can work through the problem on your own first. So here, let's go to the first problem on allelic frequencies. So right here, just pause the slide or pause the video, not the slide, and see if you can work this out on your own, on your own sheet of paper, because you wanna be able to do these. Imagine walking into the exam, and this could be the question on the exam. So see if you, so here, this is looking at allelic frequencies in a population. So we're looking at a population of tigers, and the information I give you is that here, um, white tigers, we have four out of 350. This makes our N value 350. And I'll also tell you the carriers, we have 50 out of 350. So here, a, or um, the recessive form is white. So we know the A, little a, little a, homozygous recessive is white. And then uh, the dominant form is wild type or an orange Bengal tiger. So here the carriers would be these. We know 50 out of 350 are the carriers. So here I ask you to find the genotypic frequency of the homozygous dominant in the population. I don't give you that here. So how can we calculate that? Well, I give you the frequencies of the homozygous recessive and the heterozygous. So we can use those values to calculate the frequencies of the homozygous dominant. So let's start out with doing that one and then we'll look at P and Q. So first here, we can calculate the frequencies of homozygous recessive. So that's frequency of uh, little a, little a here, and that's just four over 350. So four out of 350 here, it's just the number divided by the total population. So that's 0 0.011. And then you can calculate the frequency of the heterozygotes. So that equals four, no, I mean, that's 50 out of 350. So 50 over 350 is equal to 0 0.4143. So 0 0.143, but now what do we do? Uh, if you remember, I gave you the equation, or if you think about it, the frequencies of each genotype should equal one. So if this plus this plus the frequency of, so what I'm saying here, the frequency of homozygous recessive plus the frequency of the heterozygotes plus the frequency of homozygous dominant is equal to one, we have this term and this term we want to find solve for this term. So we can just say one minus each of these. So 0 0.011 minus 0 0.143 is now equal to the frequency of homozygous dominant, which is 0 0.846. So 84% of the population is homozygous dominant for orange. So that's part one of this question was to answer that. Part two was what's the allelic frequency of P and Q. Now we have this information. So here we want to start out with finding P. So P, remember, is equal to the frequency of the homozygous dominant plus 0.5 times the frequency of Oops, times the frequency, little multiplication sign there, of big A, little a, or homozygous recessive. So we're looking at 0.5 because here there's only one. Remember, P is for the dominant trait. So we you know, plug and chug here. The frequency of big A, uh, big a is 0.846 plus 0.5 times homozygous, we calculate that over here, 0 0.143, 143, sorry if that's hard to read over there, and so P is equal to 0.918. So 0 0.918 is P. Now for Q, you could say Q is equal to the frequency of homozygous recessive plus this term right here, but we know P plus Q is equal to one. So using the same sort of philosophy over here, so we could solve for Q is equal to one minus P, which is equal to one minus uh, 0 0.918 
So Q is then equal to 0 0.082. So only 8.2% of the population carries the recessive allele, but 91.8% of the population is the dominant allele based on this given information. So imagine how this could change from you know, population to population and be able to work that problem. So it's not a super hard problem to do. You just have to know how to work your way through the problem. All right, the next type of problem here, we take this one step further and we're looking at codominance. So this is looking at genes with three alleles and this would be blood typing. So you can be A, B, or O. So three different alleles for this population. So I gave you some information here and I wanna know what are the allele frequencies. So what's P, what's Q, and since we have three alleles, we add a new term here called R. So pause right here if you want and try to work through this problem and see based on the equations I gave you in lecture if you can do this. So these are the equations I gave you in the lecture. So you wanna be able to solve this based on using these equations. Now these are the reduced equations to make it simpler. Um, so yeah, so you would wanna pause here and see if you can work through these on your own. I'm gonna go ahead and start. So we allele frequencies are calculation P, Q, or R. So this is just, if I give you all the information, it's not too hard to do. Uh, so here, the frequency of A1. A1, now you do have to think about this a little bit. These ones and twos and threes should be up here. Let's fix that real quick. <laughs> um, so A1, A1 is A blood type. So this would be IA, IA. It's just easier to represent all these using the numbers because it's talking about allele one, allele two, or allele three. So anything that has the A, so we want to include 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and then you could be AB, so another 0.1. So here, this would equal the frequency of A1A1 is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 times the frequency of A1A2, which would be AB, so AB type is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.5 times A1, A3, which would be I, A, I, so heterozygous there, and that one is 0 0.1 again. That'd be 0 0.5 times 0.1. And you do all that, this then equals 0 0.3. And then the other ones are exactly the same. So this would be B, B, A, B, so that'd be the same term there. Then this one would be B, I. Plug these numbers in. B, B is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5 times A, B, which is again 0 0.1 plus 0 0.5 times B, I, which is 0 0.1. Again, so then this one equals uh, 0 0.4. Now, P plus Q plus R does equal 1, so you can plug all those values in, or you could just put it into the equation again here that I have written out. Um, so here, A3, A3 is little i, little i, so 0 0.2 plus 5 times, so that's uh, AI again, so AI is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.5 times BI again is 0. Point one. So the frequency of eyes in the population is then 0 0.3. So right there are all of our answers. So not too bad to do three alleles. All it does, all it, the only reason I wanted to show it is because it adds this third term. All right. Next example here is a sex-linked example. And I already gave the equation here just to show it right from the start. Um, so now for this one, this is for hemophilia. So hemophilia is a sex-linked trait. And if the, on the X chromosome, so X, the recessive form is for hemophilia and the dominant form is no hemophilia. Uh, so on this, I gave you the terms, the frequencies here of the genotypes. So I wanna know the allele frequencies. And just like the last problem, here are the equations, here are the reduced forms of the equations. I would give you the equations, you just use these and solve for your answer. So here, you only need P or Q. So this is only looking for the dominant form or the recessive form. 
So here, this would then equal the frequency of female non-carrier, so homozygous dom dominant, that is this one right here, so 0 0.4 plus 0 0.5 times the heterozygous female or the carrier. And so here, 8% are carriers plus the males that don't have it. So this one wouldn't include the males that have it because they wouldn't have the recessive form. We don't care about that frequency in this equation. Uh, so that would get canceled out in this. So here, the males that don't have hemophilia, 45% or 0 0.45. You work those out, it then gives you a P value. So here P is equal to 0 0.89. So 89% of the population has the normal gene or allele, um, not gene, allele. Then down here for Q, you could do one minus that, which I would recommend doing rather than plugging them back in again. So Q is equal to one minus P, which is equal to 0 0.11. So 11% of the population then carries or has the recessive form. And remember, this is more common in males than females. So again, another simple example, I just wanted to show you how you could work these problems for a sex linked, for codominance like blood typing, and also for the regular ones like we did in the first problem. Now, the next, the, well, not the next, but the last uh, example here is about Hardy Weinberg. So, again, this is all about population genetics, and Hardy Weinberg is a good example of population genetic, genetics. So, Hardy Weinberg equilibrium, if the allele frequencies in a population are staying the same from one generation to the next, that population is termed to be at Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. If there's a selection against one of the alleles in that population that's being taken out, that's no longer following Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and suggests the population is evolving because of something having a higher fitness than the other one. So here, if we just want to use this example, um, remember, so this example here, yellow P is dominant, green P is recessive. So in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, we have 27 homozygous yellow, which is a dominant. So homozygous yellow, big A, big A, is equal to 27. Uh, that's the only information I give you. So what are the genotypic and allele frequencies? And then what are the total phenotypes in the end? So how many are yellow, how many are green? So pause this video and see if you can work this problem out but I'm gonna continue through here. So where do we start? We wanna start with the genotypic frequencies. So that's looking at frequencies of, you know, AA, heterozygote, and homozygous recessive here. So how do we calculate those? So the frequency, kind of what we've done before here, is equal to 27. So again, this is a dominant form. Our total population is 382. So there it is, that equals 0 0.071. Now, what else does this equal though? That's what we're gonna get into when we look at allele frequency. So this is where this is going to change just a little bit. So now let's do the heterozygote here first. Remember, this is equal, so how do we calculate this one? Huh, this is where we use Hardy-Weinberg equation. So Hardy-Weinberg, P squared plus two PQ plus Q squared is equal to one. So the heterozygote term is two PQ. So we can use that here to help us calculate it, but we need P and Q, dang. So we can't do this yet. <laughs> so here we have to now use this term. So what does the frequency of homozygous dominant mean? Remember, this is equal to P squared. So can we calculate P from this? Yeah, so we could take the square root of each side. So P is equal to the square root of 0 0.071, which is equal to 0 0.266. So there we got P, but how do we get Q? Well, we've done that a lot so far. So remember P plus Q is equal to one. So solving for Q, Q is equal to one minus P, or it's equal to 0 0.734. Isn't that cool how that works? You can use just this, all the, this information is all you're given. You can figure out the amount of P and the amount of Q in the population for the allele frequencies. 
So now we can use these two terms to calculate the frequencies of how many heterozygotes we have in the population. So two times P, 0.266, times Q, 0.734. So this one is equal to 0 0.390. So 39% of the population is heterozygote. And then the frequency of little a, little a, their homozygous recessive, we can then use Q squared. So Q squared is equal to 0 0.734 squared. This term over here, this is the benefit of solving for Q. That's equal to 0.539. So now you can check this. So this is a tip. When you're working these problems, check yourself. So P squared, 0 0.071 plus 390 plus 0.539 should equal one. If they don't equal one, you made a calculation mistake somewhere. And looking these real quickly, it looks like they equal one. So now we're not done yet. We need to know what are the total phenotypes. So how many are green and how many are yellow? So remember the yellow peas, so yellow includes homozygous dominant and heterozygous heterozygous, so all of these are yellow. So we know we have 27 homozygous yellow, but how many heterozygous do we have? Well, we have the frequency now, 39%. So to find that, to find AA in the population, we can take 0 0.390 times 382, and that equals 149. So yellow, is equal to 149 plus 27, which is equals 176. Now you can calculate green by taking 0 0.539 times 382 as well, or you can take 382 minus 176. You can do either or to get these, but you're gonna get a green then equal to 206. Again, you can get that from taking 382 minus 176, or you can take 0.539 times 382, just like we did here. Here, I'll write that out just in case. So 0.539 times 382, because 53.9% of the population are green, and that equals 206. So this gives you all the answers you need here. So there's that one. Um, there, here would be the genotypic frequencies. So 0 0.71, 0 0.390, 0 0.539, and then right here, the allele frequencies are then 0.266 and 0.734, and then here's this. So here's all the answers we need for this problem. These are all the population genetic problems I wanted to work through separately with you. I know we did some in the lecture, but I just wanted to highlight these ones because they weren't too bad, but I still wanted to give you a chance to see them and be able to work through them. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and let me know. But that's all I have for today, and I hope you all have a great day, and bye-bye.